That belongs in a museum. It is very real for Dog at the moment. I can take the hit. Oh, there's that shield maiden. <laughs> Yep, above 30. Rarely you see a priest in that spot. Yeah. I lied. I, I, I said earlier oh. that. Oh, without Desikar Chuar being played yet, I guess he realizes that at this point he just needs to start getting those legendaries. Ooh. And he picks up an Anubarak. And Mogur the Ogre here is actually... I mean, this is this is not a bad minion to have at this point. You Just anything that's big is what Dog needs on board right now. Yeah, and all of a sudden, Dog has become VLPS. That's what happens when you play the Golden Monkey. <laughs> all right, whew, we're back. But yeah, New Barak, especially since uh, you talked about so much the um, the risk of using that second in tomb early. And one of those is even after Golden Monkey is played, there's a couple of legendaries that can just lose you the game. Malorn and a New Barak are two that just have sort of it close to it, you know, because they have a minion to reload every single turn. And even if it dies, it still leaves something on the board. So we'll, we'll definitely have to see. This one's going to come down to it. VOPS needs his own monkey to yeah, combat this. So. There's a light bomb. Not surprised to see. And Cabal Shadow Priest sticks around. If Dog had played that Faux Reaper, this would have been a really interesting turn. Kel'Thuzad even gets picked up. Oh my goodness. The the quality of legendaries for Dog is is through the roof. If his last card is a Malorn, he's got like the trifecta. Deathlord not fantastic versus a Nubarok. I think that VLPS is looking at a trade here. Uh, the thing is, Deathlord's not going to pull anything out. Oh, well. It's just going to plop back in the hands. I think Dog may be looking at just a new Brock after a new Brock, but finally that Bell is chosen. 412 taunts, nothing to scoff at. Black Knight would be bad. <laughs> well, we have a second shot at uh, if he's at Malorn, potentially. <laughs> if he's unhappy with his legendaries. Turn and start setting Dog into that fatigue state where the damage really starts to add up. And so Dog has to find a way to get this board back under control. And a new Brock's not going to do it. Like, if he just keeps playing a new Brock after a new Brock, he's actually going to lose control over this board, and pretty quickly. So the fact yeah. that he's chosen to use this Bow Reaper here is a big nod to that fact. And VOPS has an answer for this as well with the second villains chosen. These into Monkey, into Deathwing, or, or some something crazy like that. But even then, that means a Light Bomb pretty much seals the deal. So it's going to be really tough. And Dog just rolling his eyes. He, he knew that those Velen's chosen were there. It's just I don't think he really had a choice but to sort of go all in on on the uh, on the Golden Monkey early early enough. Yeah, here's the fatigue. Start rolling at this point. I don't know if Dog can climb out of this one. All right. He needs the LPS to make a mistake right here. If the LPS continues to trade, I think he's going to stay way ahead in this game. Yeah. That's exactly what he's got his sight set on, too. I think it's going to be a second light bomb. Yep, just, even, just play stuff. Yeah, he's just going to ignore it. Okay. Oh, but the kill the Zod! Yeah, this is the, this is the kind of turn that Dog might have needed, but still with two circle of healings back behind, this is still going to be really tough. I mean, these minions are never going to die. Well, Kel'Thuzad's going to die, I can tell you that. As on board. What's the best way to go about this? I imagine it's going to involve some sort of circle healing. It's the light bomb. Light bomb doesn't kill that Keldazad, though. Oh, it does because of the extra damage. Double Velen's Chosen. I forgot about that. The double Velen's Chosen wow. actually... That's a I mean, clutch that... play. That is... That is a really big deal, actually. But the thing is, now Dog gets two Anubarox. Yeah, but he's, he doesn't have time to play him. <laughs> yeah, you can on the board. But, you know, that's that's not really a risk that I think he can take. And uh, VLPS finally finds the map and oh, looks like he's going to draw, draw the monkey. Yeah, here we go. And I don't think he's actually trading into the Anubarox this turn. Yeah, you know, putting the 4-4 on board so that we just kill the Deathlord outright. Yeah, Ooh. chooses not to. Those yeah. are mediocre legendaries. Tinkmaster Overspark can be good. 
uh, especially if you can, you know, land it automatically onto a, um, like, 100% onto, like, an Anubarok to sort of get rid of that endless Anubarok effect. But Brand Bronze Spirit's not that great. Trogsor's not that great in a, in a land where there's no more spells left in the game. Oh, there's really that map good. left. Oh, there is the map oh, left. Confessor oh, Confessor Paltress. The last card. That legendary is pretty good, and we'll see what he's going to get. Not Nat Pagel. The Beast? Hmm. I don't know about the Beast. Yeah, I, Dog doesn't have a way to actually kill the Confessor this turn either. Unless he plays Mogor the Ogor and prays. <laughs> That might be the best play, honestly. You, yeah. Uh, because if he lets these minions that it doesn't attack the minion that you chose, and then you have to land the one in four to attack the Confessor Paltris, which is really rare. But it's uh, not, not something that's going to happen easily. So Dog realizes that just play the strongest minion once again and finally push through the Death Lord. I don't know if this is enough, though. The LPS board is looking so good right now. Ooh, what's gonna be? Extra legendaries every single turn. Captain Greenskin not like too fantastic here, but the damage is starting to pour on at this point, and I think that's the scarier thing. Dog's gonna have to hope for a miracle here. Yeah, I think he's going to uh, have to play the monkey and. Hope for the best. Maybe attack into the beast to this get that extra good. minion, the extra attack next turn, and we'll see if he replaces what he gets with something good. Yeah, not quite. He's gonna <laughs> the double skeleton the power knight. The skeleton knight is also potentially infinite value. No, no, no. Wait, wait. What happens? No, no. Cause yeah. They're <laughs> So what, happens what happens is the game ends because VLPS takes the board and yeah. his confessor active. 